Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. Welcome back, y'all. I'm not gonna bore you with a big speech. Y'all know why you're here. Part two of our Optimus build. Last time around, we got the legs done. Let's see what we can accomplish this time around. So let's just get into the build.
Alrighty, and here we have two arms fully assembled and ready to be placed on the rest of the model. Of course, we have to finish the torso. That'll be in the next part, but we do have these. Now, these are almost mirror images. There are a few differences. Um, if you take a look here, this elbow has this black section here with the silver stripe, and this one does not. This one attaches to the back of the forearm for the elbow, whereas this one seems to attach to the top of the forearm for the elbow. Uh, so a little odd there as to the design difference. Other than that, they are just mirror images of each other. Uh, well, I suppose that and the orientation of where it's gonna to attach to the shoulder. So it'll go something like this, right? Um, now, one of the big issues I've got, if you take a look at this, okay, this one here especially is going to cross right in front of the chest. So some of the most iconic details of Optimus are likely going to be hidden by his weapon. But he does have that dual, uh, uh, dual wield thing going on I mean, it's okay. Now to get in, uh, I, I gotta say, I'm a little underwhelmed with these. Uh, the guns themselves are, are just fine. I mean, there's obviously a lot of uh, painted details, some laser etching. Um, not sure why the sights are so big. Maybe that's just a replica of the comics, but all in all, I mean, it's, it's not a bad weapon. It's not. It is not removable, though. It is permanently attached. Uh, both of them are. There are no accessories or personalization options or anything like that. But take a look at this. I mean, that is just bland, flat, red. Yeah, there's a little bit of laser etching here. There's, you know, this cylinder here. But, I mean, it's the same on both arms. The inside is just that bland red. And technically... On the outside, it's the same. It's just covered with this shield, armor, whatever this is. I mean, you can see it sticks out a bit. Um, and this, again, it's just, you know, red and white stripes. The top of the shoulder, just this bland red. No real mechanical detail. And I'm not sure about the shoulder armor either. Why does this hang over like this? Um, is this just a design from the comics? Uh, I mean, it's the best guess I can come up with. And then the biggest piece of detail they have, this uh, cylinder here, is covered up by their armor. So, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't understand uh, a lot of the design. I don't know if it's just trying to be uh, accurate to the comics or if they made some design decisions here that ended up making it look just blah. But, to be fair, with almost every single one of these IDW models, I have the exact same reaction to the arms. And then I put the arms on the model, and everything looks wonderful. So, that could very well be what we're, what we're going to experience here. But, that about wraps it up for part two of this build here. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.